Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you another new feature in Office 2010, and it is Remove Background. Um, it's not new to um, Office, but now you can remove background from pictures. So this is a picture that I actually imported in um, from my desktop, and there's this background. I want to get rid of it. Now before you used to only be able to remove backgrounds from uh, clip art. Now you can do it from any picture, whether it's in the Microsoft files or um, one of your own pictures. So this is my daughter, and she's riding her scooter. And I'm going to click, um, I double clicked on the image, and it brought up the picture editing tool. So I'm going to click on Remove Background. And it's going to draw a marquee around the picture. It's thinking right now, but it'll draw a marquee around the picture, and it will um, make the areas that I want to remove, or the background, it's going to make it purple. So the purple areas are what are going to be removed, and then the other areas are what it will keep. But this isn't what I want, so I'm going to kind of play around with this. I'm going to move the marquee a little, and um, because I want to grab her completely, and it's going to think, and it's a little slow, but it does a good job. Now I'm a big Photoshop user, um, so this actually does a decent job. So I'm going to move the bottom marquee, and once that's done thinking, okay, so you can see that she's starting to fill in a little bit there better. And I'm going to move the marquees around her. There's going to be some areas that are still going to show um, as being kept, but we can play around with that afterwards. So let's move this in. So you see it's getting more and more. So you want to bring the marquee as close to um, the object that you want to keep, but without... Um, keeping too much of the background. Okay, so there she goes. That's a decent job. So you see there's some purple spots here um, that it's going to remove, and then there's like a spot there it's going to keep. So you have these uh, under refine. You can mark areas you want to keep if they were blotched out. So let's click on that because I want to fix her sneaker here. And all I'm going to do is just draw a little line on the area I want to keep. And as you can see, it fills it in. And I want to do like her heel right here. Let's get that in a little, and it should fix that in a second. There it goes. And then um, up here on her hair, I want to get rid of this mark, little tiny area up here, because it looks a little, it's going to kind of look a little splotchy on her. And as you can see, you can start previewing over here what it's going to look like. Okay, and then I actually want to keep... Um, the scooter. So let's see if I could do this. Okay, I don't have very steady hands, but let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, there it goes. So now I can just, um, I'm happy with what uh, the changes I've made, so I'm going to click Keep Changes, and it's going to remove the background. Now that does a really great job of removing that background. I had to play around a little bit with it, but it's fun. So now what I have is I have another slide up here that has a city background. This is actually from um, the clip art that's available in, my, in uh, Microsoft Office. So I'm going to take her and I'm going to I'm going to click um, copy and I'm going to click on this slide and I'm going to add her to um, let's see I'm going to add picture. I'm going to add her to this slide and let's move her down. A little bit more so it looks like she's actually running in the street and then if I preview this voila there she is okay so this is a quick tutorial hope you uh, liked it